the Indian Armed Forces have come up with a new recruitment model. It is called the Tour of Duty. Civilians can be recruited into the three services of the Armed Forces for a period of four years. In the latest, the Indian Cabinet's Panel on Economic Affairs has approved the new recruitment Agnipath scheme. And elaborating on the new essence of the scheme, Indian Defence Minister Rajnath Singh Chiefs of the Army, Navy and Air Force announced significant reforms on how soldiers recruited under the Agnipath scheme will act as a boon for the Indian workforce and will further help in reducing defense pension bills, which has been a major concern for governments for many years. Agnipath Yojana ke antargat ya prayas kiya ja raha hai ki Indian आर्म फोर्सेस का प्रोफाइल पूरी तरह से यूथफुल हो यूथफुल प्रोफाइल से यह फायदा भी होगा कि उन्हें नई नई टेक्नोलॉजी के लिए आसानी से ट्रेन किया जा सकेगा और उनकी हेल्थ और फिटनेस का लेवल भी काफी बेहतर होगा साथियों इस अग्निपथ योजना से एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज बढ़ेंगी और अग्निवीर सेवा के दौरान अर्जित स्किल्स यम एक्सपीरियंस उन्हें विभिन्न क्षेत्रों में एम्प्लॉयमेंट भी प्राप्त कराएगा और इससे भारतीय अर्थव्यवस्था को भी हायर स्किल्ड वर्कफोर्स की उपलब्धता होगी द फोर ईयर स्टिंट विल इंक्लूड सिक्स मंथ्स ऑफ ट्रेनिंग एंड थ्री एंड हाफ ईयर्स ऑफ सर्विस द स्कीम अट्रैक्ट्स दोज हु सिक टू जॉइन द आर्म फोर्सेज विदाउट अडॉप्टिंग इट एज अ फुल टाइम करियर हाईवर ऑन कंप्लीशन ऑफ फोर ईयर्स Agnivias will get an opportunity to apply voluntarily for regular cadre. Analysts have outlined various advantages of the new recruitment scheme. To name some, the proposal will further help in producing a large number of soldiers in less time and with fewer investments. The money saved by this process could be used to focus more on the investment of technology and military modernization. Secondly, the tour of duty will serve as a golden opportunity for India's youth. They can experience military life. without having to join the armed forces on a long term basis it will eventually produce better disciplined and experienced youth who could venture out into other fields after the tenure of their service however several veterans have raised questions about this new scheme they say that the new process can be detrimental to the existing structure in the army loyalty towards the regiment and battalion is a factor it often acts as a source of motivation in harsh circumstances one that cannot be ingrained in recruits in just 4 years india has one of the world's largest armed forces with over 1.38 million personnel soldiers have been recruited by the army navy and the air force separately they typically enter service for a period of up to 17 years for the lowest ranks And for more on this we were previously joined by our principal diplomatic correspondent Sidan Sibal and this is what he had to say from New Delhi. The Indian government in a major policy announcement has made an announcement regarding military recruitment the policy is known as agni path and people who will be recruited will be known as agni veers now they will be recruited between the age group of 17 and a half to 21 uh, years and they will serve for 4 years uh, 25% of them will be absorbed in the permanent commission the two reasons are being given for this uh, policy announcement one of course is uh, the age profile uh, more younger lot in the military and uh, this will reduce the average age to 26 to 27 from currently 32 to 33 and this is uh, being touted as something that will benefit the military the second of course is it slashes the defense pension budget uh, now money saved is money earned and this of course uh, provides money for other things including buying weapons uh, new weapons so this is uh, uh, the, the the overall reasoning behind the policy uh, shift or policy change or policy announcement and also the 75% of people who will not be recruited in in the permanent commission uh, will uh, be uh, will be absorbed by the central government ministries or by the state governments uh, announcements are expected to be made uh, very soon regarding that and uh, what the indian government has been saying that it will 
help the overall economy in terms of skilled manpower but there are of course uh, uh, criticism uh, being leveled as well in terms of the policy of naam namak uh, nishan which means loyalty identity uh, uh, towards a regiment and uh, this is something uh, that we have seen in terms of what uh, uh, the veterans have been saying and uh, other experts have been saying in fact there is a briefing as well specifically for veterans regarding uh, this policy announcement which has been made with video journalist chandrashekar sidhan sibal for vion in new delhi vion is now available in your country download the app now and get all the news on the move